Between 2008 and 2015, he coached Patrick for 540 regular season games and 62 Stanley Cup playoff games. Fortunately for me, I had a, a relationship with Patrick uh, that developed well before our relationship together in, in San Jose. So uh, getting to know the family, uh, getting to know Patrick as, uh, as a young, young man, and then watching him evolve and, and having the honor of coaching him was uh, something special. Early in my career, I was in Detroit with the Red Wings, and we naturally had a, a vicious rivalry with uh, the San Jose Sharks. Preparation for the Sharks was never easy. And Patrick Marlowe, his speed, his skill, the impact he had on a game, a big part of our game plan centered around certain individuals, and Patrick would have been one of them. When I arrived in San Jose, I, I thought I knew Patrick fairly well, but what I learned a lot about Patrick is he cared deeply about his teammates, his team, the community, and uh, I got to physically see him work day in and day out. Um, I had heard about his work ethic, but the commitment to his body, to staying healthy, to being on time and being a true pro, um, that was evident day after day after day. And I think that's in large part why he was able to play the number of games he played. During my time in San Jose, we had a lot of wins in the regular season and, and in playoffs. And Patrick Marlowe played a, a key in, in those. He was able to play the game any way it needed to be played, whether it was physical, a skill game. Uh, he was able to score and check. Patty, captain for many years there and was a great leader. You know, and he was a, a player that maybe was underappreciated at times. He scored many, many big goals. But if you were there every day and you saw him in the locker room, uh, there was a lot of things that he struggled through to keep playing and, and to make the franchise better. The extra work he did uh, after practice and pre-practice um, all lent towards having a really long and healthy career. Um, that didn't happen by accident. He had to commit to those extra hours and an extra time. And he was a real good example for, for all the young players around there too. But the actual visual part of Logan Couture and Mark Edward Vlasic showing up the rink each and every day and visually being able to see him train to commit himself to the team and his teammates. There aren't lessons like that are, that are taught at training camps or anything like that. That's through osmosis and players watching and learning. Off the ice, I got to see him at different timelines in his life uh, as a single young man that uh, was enjoying life and, and trying to figure out uh, what was going on in the big city. And then all of a sudden he was married without children and then four boys showed up and he became a tremendous father. Patrick, uh, Christina, boys, um, congratulations on a heck of a career. Unfortunately, I can't be there tonight, uh, but in the back of my mind, I'm thinking of you and remembering uh, the great years that we had together. Your number and name going up to the rafters is uh, as well learned as anybody's in the history of the National Hockey League. And I'm one very proud former coach of Patrick Marlowe. We thank Todd McClellan.